Hello everybody, today we're going to be playing a rapid game. Uh, usually we play in a tournament, but this time I've chose to do something different and not play in a tournament as usually tournament time controls are usually less. We're probably just going to play a 15, 10 or 10 plus 0 game, probably a 10 plus 0 game. And we'll just see what happens. So I hope you're excited and look. Okay, so we have our first opponent. He's 1928, so he's around my rating. So we'll just play E4. Okay, he's playing the French defense. Okay, he's playing some weird variation of it. Uh, clearly, we're just going to develop to the center. We're going to take more space in the center by pushing these pawns. This could get weak, but we'll try to enforce this here. Not sure about that. I guess he wanted to avoid this. Well, now that's really weird. Okay, we're just going to develop normally. And I don't see the purpose. Maybe he's going for this, but that doesn't really do too much for him. Okay, I expect, sort of expected that. I mean, makes sense. We're just gonna try to attack it. Even though it's not a big threat for us, we just want to ruin that structure pretty much. We're not gonna take right away because he's gonna take with this pawn, as I would assume. Not this. I mean, he could take with that. It's not bad. It's just more trading's gonna occur. Okay, so he's going here. Okay, so. He wants to get here, that could get annoying, I guess. Um, I mean, let's see. I think we should take now. Even though I said a move before we shouldn't take, let's just take here. Okay, that move is expected. And I'm gonna play something really weird, but I'm gonna play this, just because I don't want this annoying move here. This pawn could get weak, but if you try to protect that, we have to move our knight, okay, that, that has to happen. We have to develop. Um, I'm assuming rook here right away, just because that basically doesn't allow me to move this knight because the pawn's hanging. Yeah, queen there also makes sense. Um, let's let's see. Let's move this here. Maybe we can get knight to a3. Even though knight's the edge is not that good. Maybe we can get knight a3. Um, next, I'm gonna play rook c1 probably to protect if rook uh, c8 is played. But I think we're fine here. We're definitely more developed than he is. We ha we have a slight time edge, and honestly, we could really yeah we could play this right now. There's no like bishop captures, which might be annoying. Even though I don't, I think I'd be fine with it just because he's giving away the bishop pair. And usually in chess, the bishop pair is always stronger than the knights. So you definitely want to keep that. Uh, usually in most positions, you want the bishop pair. So. Uh, maybe not in this position, just because the position's sort of locked right now. It could get, op it could open up, but I don't think in this case you would need to trade the bishops. Okay, that is. I guess he's trying to play. I don't even know why that move. It's just wasting a move, I think. Um, we could go for some sacking ideas if we wanted. Um, then he he can just block with this, but I'm thinking. Yeah, let's let's just try this out. Let's see what happens. I don't think he I mean he can take obviously, right? Um my plan is to okay, we're gonna take. He probably will move his knight here, because he just definitely can't allow that clearly. I mean if he allows that he's kind of lost. Um so probably something like this, right? And we can take clearly queen can't take. Okay, this this that makes sense as well. Um Okay, we can trade here. Let's trade that. Let's try to get like queen here. If queen takes out, clearly we can just give a fork, and he loses the queen. Um, so we're in an interesting situation here. I would say both positions are equal, even though I, I mean we're up a pawn. I think yeah, we're up two pawns actually. So I mean we should be better, honestly. I take that back. Um, we should definitely be better. Um, we can open in the center, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Open this diagonal, and let's see what can we play. Let's go here first. Let's just bring a rook over. I'm not really worried about this queen coming over. I think then I should definitely play this. And even if it takes and these pawns are doubled, I think I should be fine. I might. I think. Yeah, he might just take this just to like get rid of so he can have the bishop here which I guess makes sense but he is down two pawns here so he's gotta do more than just try to get back the bishop here okay so he's attacking our knight 
Let's see what we can do. I'm thinking this. I mean, that is threatening something. Yeah, let's do that. So, I mean, he's probably going to protect. And then we can take, but we can take this at the end. See, this knight can definitely be one of his weaknesses. So we have to find a way to somehow, you know, take advantage of that. We should, let's see, let's see what we can play. I mean, pretty equal on time. He is a minute and some, some seconds down. Okay, so he's he went back. Okay, so since he went back, yeah, let's try to open the center. Up. I mean, there's no bishop on this diagonal, so we should be fine. I'm trying to open this up. I'm not worried about him taking my bishop anymore. Not that I was worried in the first place because I mean it wasn't gonna be too good for him and I in it in, it, in any way possible. So this should be fine for us. We should probably. I mean, it depends. Will he, does he want to take? Is he, okay, he wants. He wants me to take. Okay. Okay, makes sense. I'm just gonna push. We can try to get this pawn here, which would be pretty bad for him. His bishop would be kind of dead. He'd have to go back, and we could take it if we wanted to, and try to get some rook on the. Well, not right now, but some some kind of attack maybe. That could definitely be a possibility. Um, so, let's see, I think he, I mean, he hasn't cast, I mean, he's gotta do something, maybe this, yeah, probably makes sense, right? Um, let's, okay, I'm gonna play this, I don't wanna right away play this, I wanna play c6 and then back it up with b5 and just try to push these pawns to try to make a queen in the, uh, at the end, so let's, con let's do that first, so clearly can't he can't take this and then out oh, he has to go he, bishop e8 or c8 and then we'll just push b5 and you can't take because my knight's protecting and i'm gonna push uh b6 in the next move which should be pretty good for us okay here let's yeah let's back it up with our queen yeah okay i thought he could take there for a second because then i can't take with the pawn but i can take with the knight so we should be fine there um definitely pushing in the next move i think yeah this this should be really bad for him i would assume he should yeah this should definitely be bad okay that makes sense trying to go away with but there's actually now a nasty move here you should lose now i'm guaranteeing that one uh, unless we mess it up somehow but he should definitely be lost there's no way you can protect this yep resign on the board okay that's the first game this was a shorter video, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. If you'd like to see longer videos, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any subjects or ideas or any topics that you don't understand, also let me know in the comment section so I know what topics you would like to see. Nevertheless, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you later.